you have two different types of equilibrium. We have translation. Uh, I tried translational and rotational. I apologize, that says translational. I can't read it either. Uh, the equation for translational equilibrium, Derek. What was that? The equation, there's an equation that says something that, that I mean, that's a translational equilibrium. <laughs> It's when the net force equals zero. When you sum the forces, you have to identify what? Tyler? What was the question? That's right. Why, why, why do I keep having to repeat myself, Emily? Any ideas? It would be in the direction like that. I'm fine with that. So we have to identify the direction. We have to identify the direction. Also, if there's more than one object, you have to identify the object or objects that you are sending the forces on. If an object is in translational equilibrium, what does this mean, Mr. P, in terms of the object? It is not moving. An object that is not moving is in translational equilibrium, but an object that is in translational equilibrium is not necessarily not moving. Spencer? It's not accelerating. It's not accelerating, which means it could be at rest. It could also be moving at a constant velocity. The, the uh, equation for rotational equilibrium, you check. Um, it's sum of the uh, board equals volume of inertia times vision. I agree with that, but that is not the equation for rotational equilibrium. The sum of the torques does equal I times alpha, I agree. However, the for rotational equilibrium, we have uh, zero. it equals zero. Whenever you sum the torques, you have to identify what tracks? The axis of rotation. The axis of rotation, and of course, if there is more than one object, you do have to identify which object slash objects you are summing the torques on. What does it mean in terms of the object if it is in rotational equilibrium? What is going on with the object? Stasel. It's not rotating, but rotating is constant angular velocity. It means that the angular acceleration is equal to zero, which means it's either at rest or rotating at a constant angular velocity. If an object is in translational equilibrium and is in rotational equilibrium about one axis of rotation, then it will be in rotational equilibrium about any axis of rotation. So if the net force equals zero, and the net torque equals zero about one axis of rotation. That means that the net torque is equal to zero about any axis of rotation. I am not going to go through and prove this. It is proven in your book, but I don't want to take the time to do so. Bless you in the class. Is Silva, do you still have a question? Yeah. If an object is rotating and moving but not accelerating, is it still an equilibrium? You can have an object that is in translational equilibrium and rotational equilibrium that is both moving at it is rolling without slipping, if you will, both at a constant linear velocity and a constant angular velocity. It would be in rotational and trans translational equilibrium, but it would be both translating and rotating. So yes. Oh, so that is the concept of equilibrium.